At the edge of dawn, light ascends upwards from the heavens. A shimmering salmon pink daylight kisses the pale sky, breathes life into the blue glimmer beyond. Waves of rolling lines lead to the curved edge of the horizon, curved beyond our natural vision. Part of the overall roundness of this place, now there is space to see, since the water has risen. Beneath the waves, a rusty sign that reads Mersey Rail. Black and white barriers separate road from trail. I pull in my oars and float, an owl peering over the side of my aquamarine boat. Beneath me, an aquatic park flanked by houses, angular shapes softened by caves and places, brash red brick facades sweetened by pink pastel shades in plaster. A chocolate box assortment of shops. A chippy and off license, a bright red pillar box, covered in barnacle spots, and then the sunken road drops off. Grand designs and sobering sandstone now nestled amidst mottled green and bones. Wrought iron spires top golden domes, flickering like ceramic fixtures in Mother Nature's goldfish bowl. Dancing through the ripples as I lean over and run my hand through the warm water. Green truths as the light moves through bluebell glades, floating over colonnades of Romanesque statues, swaying like seaweed, or so it seems, beneath the glittering waves. That sing of the waters ebb and flow, waves singing of the waters ebb and flow, a variegation of competing currents and streams, the resonance of times past. Spectral my presence as I ghost past the tip of what was once a triumphant tower, now hung with storm lanterns like a harbour buoy, garlands of remembrance on a woodland bower. At the sense of the moment, the horizon beckons, infinite to the eye, ever calling, compelling, cajoling, coaxing the gaze outwardly and momentarily upwards to where the gulls glide and swirl on the updrafts of the morning air. Using the submerged robe below me as my salty old satnav, I drift above the foamy sway. By now I'm used to this. Red tarmac speckled with grey and white gravel. It is here the marinating metropolis stops. Red speckled snaking path turns to a beige mass. Road to sand as all figures and phantoms fade from view as if they alone knew my true destination. Where the wind blows and the water flows free. At the centre of all reason, there is a sense of light, a mystery. At the edge of that light, the water waits for us, a transcendent order beyond the chaos, beyond the chaos of the flawed, salt-stained, colonial, cerebral city. An unknown marinescape has slowly taken shape. Coral pink fronds flared with the retreating shoreline. Maritime mambos, mambo along a curious coastline. A beach full of scallop shells basks in the sunshine. Edges tinged to tangerine presents a scene as mysterious as the changing climate. And in my empathy, I croon a continuity of reinvented prayers of how things used to be, how things were. Each building once as substantial as a mango tree, and me, a mere primate, drifting towards infinity, aimlessly. Radiant as ever, the sun breaks through the dancing treetops, firing gold shafts of light deep into the heart of this wooded lagoon, scattering shadows across the rippling shallows that swirl around the moss-covered rock pools. That protrude and disappear here and there, and wherever the coast is clear, the 
crustaceans gather for food. Deep within nature there is a stillness, a knowing, a presence that can't be ignored. I cling to the coast just offshore, golden adventure firing in the blood, memories from before the flood, songs running like a river of silver through purple veins, the enveloping water ringing in my ears, wind whistling a multitude of sorrows, each emblazoned with the pristine names of the one. Leaving off the shore I head for the trees, carried by the morning breeze where I danced with the standing people of the forest, for the forest is their place, it is there they feel equal. In my hands I hold some brown fair cones, gifts from the dancing pines, my pockets are full of seashells, wrapped in the sands of time. The suave ripe sun seeps through the morning air, lush green ferns and palm fronds floating inward with the tide, shifting shapes born on the liquid light and the tangible shadow of hovering clouds. The sail of my boat is a folded shroud. The gulls cackle and guffaw as if to laugh quite loud. There's a freshness in the air, a sense of beginning. All around me the water breaks in softly subversive waves as I take up my oars and turn towards the beach where the sunlight kisses earth. It is here that much healing takes place and growth, new growth. Nature continuously revealing her love and how deep within our aching hearts this is how it is with us. This is nurtured deep within us. At midday I'm beginning to make sense of it all in meditation. Nature extemporaneously composes works of art on the sand as if she was expecting a private viewing. Communicating salt white the Irish sea a rose, grey brown, bronze, shimmering pink, fragmentation, merely a trick of the light. Flagrantly the sun beams salsa through the swaying pine tops, dancing their way into the heartbeats of the forest life, scattering silken shadows across brittle white shells and fibrous brown fair cones. Anticipation rising in the blood, blood in the purple veins, the body ringing with life's primal aim. Climbing to the top of the tallest dune, I battle with the wind to get my bearings, and in my solitude I practice a continuity of reinvented memories. By late afternoon the water has risen further, eyes drift with the languid current, the Irish sea now bronze, and the shimmer of pink, its edge laced in salt white and sun-scorched palm leaves. A part of blue sky so clear, so breathable, Seagulls circle in the distance now, the waves dance to a rhythm of their own, spherical the intimation of time, like the earth, a circular motion, a cyclic movement, like life, back to the beginning, like the phases of the moon, in rotation, each turn, an evolution of sorts, each turn, a revolution of sorts. Sequenced elegance, the shifting of the sea, wave tips tinted saffron by an orange chiffon sun, the waves and the water rolling, rising, undulating but not unduly, just shifting like the dunes, encapsulating light in their shadow. I glance up at the sky, it's smiling. Out at sea, the depths seethe as the sea breathes, the sea speaks, the sea thinks, the trees creak, but the sea links. A myriad tributaries that feed into the warm bloodstream of this now tropical place trace its trajectory back to the ocean from whence it came. Absent substance, yet perceptible the presence of light beneath the water, shimmying an elusive motion as a school of blue dolphins leads my eye off towards the horizon. Time leads me back to the land. It's the place where I will meet the weaponless hunter, the whirling dancer, Mother Nature, she who must be faced as I face this new day. The rising tide.